When I first met Alicia, it was really all business. There was absolutely no way in the world I was going to tell her I was a huge fan. I thought it would be completely inappropriate and instill very little confidence if her surgeon was drooling all over her. So it really was all business from the very beginning. Hi, how are you? No, I'm sorry, you can't eat that. And I'm sure she thought I was a total nitwit not knowing who she was, but she was completely gracious from the very beginning. Even when she had to spend her daughter's first birthday in our hospital, tethered to an IV pole with nothing to eat or drink. And especially when I had to tell her, and I will tell you, I will never ever say these words to another human being again, ever. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to cancel your plans to sing for the President of the United States of America. Total true story. But you can sing for us instead. No, it didn't quite go over that way, and I don't think I was that obnoxious, but suffice it to say, her response was, yeah, let's do this. I remember one of our earlier correspondences where she said how excited she was about the possibilities of our fundraiser, and that Roger, who's her manager, who's here, was a bit of a hard ass, but that's why she loved him. He knew how important this was for her. And since that time, she's been named CoverGirl's newest spokesperson. She's released her sixth studio album, The Truth About Love, 